And this is you. Hi. Recently, we went back to countryside for Salat. So that is Lunar New Year, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was his first time in the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> okay. We got sent some suitcases from Shapeul, a crowdsourcing platform. And this was really good timing as we needed to travel to the countryside and needed new luggage. They came with alphabet stickers, so we've customized them too. Definitely the best suitcases we've ever had, right? Yeah, we never had a good one. <laughs> so there is a Kickstarter for them as well, so you can check the description box for the link and check out more affordable designs on the Shapeul website. So how did it feel to be back in the countryside? Oh, uh, it was fresh. Fresh the air. The weather was really good, really good, and the warm, and the, the air was amazingly good. Mm -hmm. And my parents loved him so much. Yeah, everybody loved you, didn't they? Yeah. Man, you were so spoiled. So we're back in the countryside, back, back on the strawberry farm with your parents. Nobody cares about us. Nobody. They just care about our baby. Everybody cares about him. Nobody's paying any attention to us at all. Okay, we can just. Go <laughs> We're gonna go. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow, what what has changed here? Well, have a working out. Stop. This is like more for old people, but it's still great. So old people can keep active. You can work out here. Yes. Wow! Wow! This is cool! And you can do this! Whoa! What? Oh, this is a different one! Whoa! That's different from the other ones! Yeah, it's... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's, this one is difficult! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I wanted to come see the water because it's been so long since I've been anywhere near the ocean <laughs> and the tide's out. <laughs> oh no! Sumi, where is the water? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sumi, my sister-in-law there. And Yule is... where is he? He's asleep here. Yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> it's still beautiful though. He thinks he's a photographer with your new phone.
We are cooking a salad. The boys are cooking. Look, the girls there. So, traditionally in Korea, it's the women that do this cooking for the holidays. But we're a little bit more progressive here, and the boys are doing it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I mean, like, I think it's time to boys do this stuff. As yeah. Well. Because women has been doing this one for so long, right? And it's hard work. Yeah, it is. Hours and hours of cooking like this. It's hard work, but you can eat right away. <laughs> because it's over here. So you've got them here where you can eat. Like this, you just pick up. Mm, real fresh. <laughs> so in the morning of Salah, we did the Jesa ceremony. So this is like respecting deceased family members. Yes. So we do that on Solo and on Chusa. Yeah. So now after the Jezza ceremony, we can eat something from it's here. It's morning, so I'm going to eat strawberries. You have the doggy. Oh. And then tofu. She loves tofu. Aigo, <laughs> Bujangin! <laughs> wow! This is from Megan Himo! Wow! Look at this! Wow! Konyo, Bujangin! Look how nice you look! Aigo. Wow, so fancy. Aigo, Bujangnim. Konyul Bujangnim. <laughs> I'm his servant. <laughs> you better carry him around yeah. like this. I need to carry him. <laughs> you wanna come from this project? <laughs> no? Aigo, <laughs> Aigo, ye. Aigo, ye. Ye, Bujangnim, ye. Ye, ye, ye. Ye, ye. Ye, ye, ye. Now, before he was born, I was the one that people would give money to because I'd be wearing a hanbok and they'd be like, oh, there's a foreigner in the hanbok, we'll give her money because I would do like the big bow and everything. Mm. But people don't care about me now, they care about him. So he got all the money. So he earns so much money. <laughs> Yeah, this is all yours. Wow. But we're in the supermarket. We we couldn't get him the hanbok because he's kind of too small. Like he's mm. still a little baby. But like we saw this and we're like, oh look, because she can just wear the hat like that. Mm -hmm. And then we get it home. And then I get it out and I'm like, oh, it's not a hat. It's the money bag like this. You still tried to put it on his head. Yeah, you can still try. <laughs> countryside style what happened what happened this is what happened as soon as you go back to the countryside <laughs> this is ridiculous
countryside. We used to go into Jinju, which is like 20 minutes into Jinju, like the big city, to go in and do stuff. And we did that. We went into the movies and have dinner and that. And then like the last bus goes like, like nine. 9.15? After living in Seoul for two years, how did it feel to be like back on the... So disconnected. <laughs> like isolated. Isolated from everything, yeah. even in Jinju. Yeah. Yeah, so we're so used to Seoul now, you feel like you're a Seoul... I'm Seoul Seoul, Saddam, Saddam, Seoul you know. person. <laughs> when I come back from Seoul and the taxi driver told me that I, I'm like, like Seoul Saddam. Yeah, he said, where's your dialect? Yeah. Yeah. That made you feel like good. Yes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with having a dialect. No, not really. Look at this. I can't see much. <laughs> you can't see anything out that way except there's like a light there and then one light up there. Nothing. And just mountains over there. <sighs> Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Yes. <laughs> yes. forget to subscribe to us if you haven't already and follow all the social media and check out the comics and the webtoon and we will see you later bye bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh bless you bless you